All right, everyone, it's Nick Atkin here with Sports Kita MMA. I'm on location, Bangkok, Thailand. 1167 is fast approaching, and I'm very excited to be interviewing the hitman, Liam Harrison, who's finally back in action. What's it been? A year and a half, two years nearly. Oh, my God. It's been too long. That's what it's been, mate. It's been too long. Uh, I'm excited to get back in there. I've, I've trained hard. Everything's going well. I feel good. I feel fresh. I feel younger. I feel revitalized, and I'm looking to to put on a blistering performance and uh, showing everyone that they've been missing while I've been gone. Yeah, the only thing that's not gone right is Leeds in the playoff final, right? Yeah, Sorry. I'm really excited <laughs> about that, mate. Do you know what? It ruined my week the other week, but I've got to put that to the back of my mind now. I've got bigger bigger fish to fry here, bigger problems to worry about. Hopefully next year we'll uh, get a few, well, I'm going to lose a few players, but we'll, yeah. hopefully we'll get some decent ones in and we can, uh, because I think the teams that have come down from the, the Premiership this year, the shit. So I don't think yeah. they're going to be coming straight back down and going straight back up. So yeah, let fingers crossed for us next year. I thought about texting you after. <laughs> I thought I don't want to piss him off. Yeah, <laughs> got a big fight coming up. You are finally back against Katsuki Kitano. What much? How much do you know about this guy? Uh, I, I've, I've seen a few of his fights and that. He's, good, he's a good kicker. He's um, he plays the game well. Uh, doesn't seem to like pressure too much which obviously when I get into my gear, when I get to go through the gears and I get into my rhythm, that's what I like to do. I go forward, hard punches, hard kicks. I try and break people down, I hurt them. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing in this fight. Well, we saw a shock when Sexan fought a Japanese opponent at Lumpini Stadium not too long ago. You must be aware, this guy's probably hunting your head. You've you got a big target on your back. You're a huge name, right? 100%. Um, he's going to be looking to make a name off of my back. I'm not going to allow that to happen. This is... This is going to be the Liam Harrison show on Saturday. I'm, I'm not making it, anything else is going to happen other than me put on a blistering performance. I need to get in there, hurt him, put him in his place, and uh, yeah, show why I'm the, the hitman. And you are booked against Sexan as well for Denver in September. Is that a strange feeling for you, knowing you've already got another fight lined up? Does it add any pressure that you, you, know, you have to win this one? Do you feel that? No. Um, because I'm not even thinking about sex and yet. This is tunnel vision on this weekend only, on Kitano only. That's all I've thought about. I overlook no one. I've trained very hard for this. All my energy is going into this one. As soon as this one's out of the way, then we'll worry about sex and then we'll go on to that. I'm not even thinking about it. It's not crossing my mind, not one bit yet. All focus on this. How are you finding Thailand? You've been out here for a while now, I think two months, is it? Uh, no, I've been out close to three weeks. Uh, <laughs> Got that wrong. Yeah, yeah, close to three weeks. But, um, yeah, I love coming back here. I love fighting in Bangkok. I loved last time when I fought at the Impact Arena as well, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Nice environment here. You can't see it on the camera, but we're on the river. Let me, let me tell you, they've, <laughs> they've upped the ante with this fight as well. this time, guys, they've, not, they've treated us well on this one. Yeah, yeah they've done good, they've done good. A bit better than the, the best Western yeah. Nada hotel, right? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Some fancy stuff here. You must be inclined to put on a real show then, because, you know, like you said, it's going to be a lot more people there than Lumpini. It's going to be 12,000, I think. I just heard it sold out yesterday, so... That must give you some extra motivation, right? Yeah, of course. It's uh, 12,000 seats, all all full, everyone going crazy. I built a good reputation for myself fighting in Thailand over the years. Obviously, I used to live here. I spent a lot of time here. I fought here many times. So, like I say, I want to really put on a, a blistering performance for everyone. Yeah, I feel like I'm not going to be able to get you to talk shit about your opponent because, you know, he seems like a nice guy. He hasn't said anything about you. Yeah. But can we talk shit about someone else? Uh, <laughs> you, you, yeah, or do you not want to get into it again? Uh, and listen, no <laughs> negative vibes are going on. I'm just on a positive trajectory here. That's it. Like I say, with, with most of these guys in this division, me and Kitano, me and Sexan, the fights sell themselves, me and Sexan. We don't need it. There's going to be no sh bad talk or sh talk about that. Um, yeah, they, 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 yeah. unfortunately not. They come find me in a couple of weeks or something and then say, let's see what everyone's reaction to is afterwards and we can see what happens. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll get you after the fight. I'm sure you'll be uh, ready to call out a few more people. Um, you, you did mention when we had you on the podcast, yeah, that you're going to see how it's going to go with this one and you're not ruling anything out. You may stick around longer because you were talking about this being the final run. Yeah, uh, like I say, there's no pressure on myself here. I'm not, I've put pressure on myself for all my career. I need to do this, I need to win that, I need to win that title, I need to win that title, I need to do this. I'm not doing it. One fight at a time, I'm going to enjoy everything. I'm enjoying the old build-up, I've enjoyed the camp, I've enjoyed all this media stuff because I've missed it all. I'm going to enjoy every part of it and I'm going to enjoy the fight. I'm going to fight my hardest 
and then we'll go on to the next one. And if my body feels good after the next one, then we'll go again. And then if my body feels good, we'll go again. And then we'll just see where it is. My body will tell me when it's time to stop. So, yeah, I'm just going to take it one fight at a time. No pressure. I'm just going to enjoy it all. It looked like you may never fight again at one point as well. I remember you went to get stem cell treatment on your knee. How's that been holding up? I mean, I feel like I did back in my early 30s again. It's uh, it's best thing I've ever did. I feel young, feel revitalised, I feel fresh. Um, best thing I've ever done. So if anyone is contemplating getting that done out there, I would say go do it. Yeah, I see a few other fighters are now all going to the same guy or similar ones. I think, is it Cancun you went to? Or? I went to Costa Rica, Costa, yeah. yeah, yeah. It seems to be, yeah, this, this new thing that's saving careers, you know. I mean, how lucky are you to have that? 100%. Um, it, one of my friends, Zach, who put me in touch with a guy, I went to the RMI clinic in uh, Costa Rica and I got looked after so well. And like all the, the, the treatment were unbelievable. And the doctor said to me, when it, cause he were, I was saying, is my career going to be over? And he went, we've got you, don't worry, mate. And I didn't really believe that it was going to work as well as it has worked. And like I say now, I feel, I'm sure you've seen my training videos. I, look, I feel like I've turned back the clocks a little bit. So yeah, I'm looking forward to putting all that work that we've done over the last six months into action now in the ring. How's the hand? I think you had a yeah, big man, bump still, on it. Yeah, <laughs> still flat. That were a lot lump were up there. So I don't even know the science behind how it has made that happen, but it, I'm not going to question it. It's done me the world of good. So. I'm very happy for you. You and Derek Lewis both. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Derek were absolutely fucked when he went. He got both knees done, his back done, his shoulders done, and then did you see his last fight? Yeah. There you go. Uh, well, can we expect similar uh, transformation for you? He's a, he's, listen, it's a Liam Harrison fight. You know what to expect when I fight, mate. It's going to be action, drama, knockdowns, knockouts, all the lot. You're going to get it all. I can't wait to see it. I thought maybe we would not see it again, so I'm very happy. Just final reflections going into this fight. What does it mean to you to be going back into that ring after everything was quite bleak, wasn't it? It, it was, and I won't lie to you, mate. We're in a bit of a shit place mentally, and, um, and it's been tough, but we're here now, and I'm excited, and I'm just looking forward to getting back to doing what I love. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get you to talk shit after the fight so <laughs> yeah. we we'll keep you in a positive mood yeah so uh liam harrison everyone good luck can't wait to see you back thank yeah, you